It's your big sis T Renee and I am back today with another story time. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm hoping that one day you find something that resonates with you and make you want to subscribe. If you are a returning viewer or a returning subscriber, thank you so much for checking back in with me. I'm hoping that you continue to stay throughout the duration of this video. But before we get into this video, y'all, make sure y'all go ahead and drop down below in the comments and leave a hey girl, hey, what's up big sis? It is all greatly appreciated. As you have seen the title already, you have an idea of what this story time is going to be about today. So let's get to it. Okay, this story happened around the early, what, 2000 maybe? Yeah, of course it was. What am I talking about? Okay, this story took place when I was about, I have to been about 22 or 23. And at the time, I was... Um, working at the airport. I was out of college and I had a job at the airport. So, you know, at the airport, you meet all kinds of people. Um, and I did meet some celebrities there, but you know, I'm not someone that just a fanatic, if you will, you know, someone that is crazy about celebrities, but some of my coworkers were. And so, <laughs> You know, we would just sit there and they would just be like, oh, I wonder who's going to run into the day. But me, I'm, I'm a person where I don't like to date people based off their status. So, you know, I'm very simple. I like regular guys. So, and it has been an opportunity where I was approached by somebody that may, you know, be of celebrity status. But at that time, my mind wasn't even thinking about nothing like that. You got young women nowadays, like... Their mindset at an early age is already, I want to meet a, a man with money, a famous guy to take care of me or to, you know, help me get to where I'm trying to go. Me, I, like I always wanted to make my own money. Even if I had opportunities, even when I had opportunities to be a stay-at-home girlfriend, like, or a wife or whatever it is at that time, I wanted to make my own money. So, yeah. I was working there. I liked the job. It was cool. Yeah, they could have been paying us more money. You know, the airlines to this day still don't pay you enough money. But anyway, so yeah, I had met some cool ladies there. And of course, you know, you meet guys. And this one guy that I met, we're going to call him, we're going to call him, I don't know why I didn't think of his name at first. We're going to call him Red. <laughs> we're going to call him Red. Okay, so I would get hit on a lot by the guys from this um, company, they basically were guys that, um, I think they, they cleaned the planes and they loaded the planes. They basically were like, no, 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 I take that back. Not these guys. That's a story for a different time. This guy, these guys that I met from this company at the airline, they used to fuel the planes. They worked for the fuel company. They fuel the planes at the airport. And so, we're going to give this one guy in particular name. We're going to call... Yeah, I said, we're going to call him Red. So, the one guy, Red, used to approach me a, a lot. You know, the younger... The other guys, they did too. But Red was somebody that really stood out. And y'all know, nowadays, people have an issue with older men dating younger women. And I honestly can say that it has been going on for many years because I know for a fact when I was younger, I had an interest in older guys. I didn't talk to a lot of them because I'm sure I had reasons I was afraid to for, I'm sure I was afraid to for many reasons, but I was approached by a lot of them and I was telling my age and honestly, they will still be okay. I know, I know that's so terrible, but it's been going on for years and Nobody really glorified it and made it a big issue until nowadays. And I guess because so much be happening and the younger women, honestly, their mindset is probably not like how I was was. Like, <laughs> shit, we still probably was very immature, but times were totally different then, honestly. 
But anyway, I'm not trying to make an excuse for it. I'm just saying a lot of younger girls would date older guys and nobody made a big deal about it. It wasn't a big mainstream thing like it is now and folks was okay. But anyway, so yeah. And and I don't I'm not gonna say like him being a little older was the reason I wanted to talk to him. He just was respectful, he was mature. And the other guys, you knew they were my age and they just wasn't at the the level I wanted them to be at the time. So I really didn't pay them much any mind. I joked and laughed with them because they were funny, but I did not take them serious. And this guy, Red, he really came on some want to date you for real. And this was back then when guys really took you out on dates. So that's the guy that I spent more time getting to know. So fast forward, we had been talking for um, probably a few weeks and he finally was like, hey, you know, we've been talking on the phone and talking at work. Um, I want to see you outside of here. Like, let's go, go out. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And be back at the time, I used to party a lot. Like me and my girls, we would probably go out to a club or something every day of the week if we could. I couldn't wait to get off work. And see, back then in our city, they had plenty of nightclubs. They had so much, I mean, not even just clubs. Like, they had so much you can do in our city at the time. It was something every day of the week. It was like the the socialite scene was, was awesome to be a part of. And that's kind of how it was because we would go places and people started to no notice who we were. We would get in free. We would get free drinks. We would get free food. We would just be in the VIP for free. Like, it was like that for me and my homegirl, which I'm not going to give a name at, th at this time. I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to make, yeah, I'm going to eventually make some stories about her, but it'll be a time from now. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm hanging out with Red. So, the time comes, the day comes for me to hang out and hook up with Red. He, did I, no, yeah, he picked me up. I did not drive. He picked me up from my house. And y'all, he had this, <laughs> this truck to this day. I love him. I used to, he was the reason why I always wanted me a four-door cab Dodge Ram in the color red. Because that's the truck he had at the time. And, yeah. But anyway, so, he picks me up. And I've never seen his car. He never really talked about it. Even though, you know, guys have been car guys since... <laughs> I can remember, you know, most men love to talk about their vehicles, but again, we have to remember he's a little older. Well, I'm not really, well, we did say, yeah, he was a little old. I knew he was a little older, but I didn't really get on, we didn't really say his age per se. Like, I knew he was a little older, but I never really cared to ask the age. I knew that I was going to eventually ask him on this date. Because I thought about, I was like, you know what, we never discussed our ages, but our conversation was so good, like, it didn't even cross my mind. Um, and, you know, most times people go, they, they talk to people. The first thing they want to talk about is why they're single and what happened with their exes and all that. Like, we really was not on that type of time. We was really focusing on our likes and dislikes and what interests us. Like, the conversation was that good to me. If you can win me over with conversation, then you can keep me going for a minute because that, that conversation, that natural chemistry, it has to be there or you will lose me. We wouldn't even have made it a week. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, he did. Like I said, the other guys, I just knew they was immature and they wasn't ready for what I was trying to be on. And <laughs> I wasn't looking for a serious relationship, but if I was going to spend my time getting to know a guy, it has to be somewhere in the cards. But anyway, so yeah, we link up for the day. I mean, we having a good time on our little date. Of course, we went to go dine somewhere, and we sat at some, I think it was some bar. I mean, yes, at this time, I was old enough to sit at the bar with him, so we went to some little bar. It was more so like a, a little kickback lounge. It wasn't given a club scene, but it was where we could really sit and be and talk. Even though it was music and stuff in the background, it was people around, it still was where we can sit kind of intimate and talk. Um... You know, it wasn't, we wasn't being drowned out by loud people in music. It was a chill spot. And I'm sure for, it was more of an older crowd there. So maybe that's why it was like that. So, um, we there, whatever. And so the subject comes up of children. And so, of course, the subject comes up of children. Because yes, believe it or not, we never really talked about if we had kids. Honestly, we had been talking, like I said, this has been probably a couple weeks. So I just, 
that's something that should comes up. That's just that I know that's something that should come up in the beginning, but it never really did. So he was like, "Do you have any children?" I'm like, "No." He's like, mm, "Surprise! That's a that's a great thing because a lot of women your age, a lot of young women nowadays have kids." I said, "But we never discussed my age, so how do you know how old I am?" He said, "I know you." He said, "I know you pretty young. You look pretty young. You got a baby face." He's like, "So how old are you exactly?" I was like, "Well, I'm 23." He's like, oh, okay. Yeah, see, I thought you was young. He said, your, your mindset is very mature, honestly. But he said, I knew you was young, you know. He said, but I didn't want to assume because a lot of y'all black women, you know, y'all look good for your age. He said, I knew you was kind of young, but I didn't really know you was, you know, that young. But I was like, wow, is that a problem? He was like, no, 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 it's cool, it's cool. I like you, though, you know. I was like, so, damn, how old are you? He's like, well, I'm 43. In my mind, I'm like, this man is my mama age. This man is my mom age. <laughs> he should be dating my mama, right? Yeah. But of course, like I said, at the time, during those years, I, I liked the older guys. And I'm, like I said, I never really dated them. Probably because I was too afraid to, or I didn't think that they would want to date me because I'm young. But this was my chance. And I liked him. And y'all, I have to admit, the man looks so damn good. Of course he didn't look his age. And back then, we used to call it color stroke. Now people just call you a colorist. And honestly, I, I can say that most guys that I dated back in the day, or up until a certain point, were all of their skin complexion. They wasn't mochas or nothing. They wasn't dark. They, they was all of the fair skin complexion. And it wasn't intentional. It's just that those were the guys that approached me the most. And those were the guys that I was actually interested in. Like, they, like they had better chemistry with me. Like, I didn't purposely choose them. Oh, he's light-skinned. I want him. Like, it just so happens to happen that way. Like, it, even in high school, like, most of the guys, even in college, most of the guys were of the fair skin complexion. And let's be real, the guys that was my skin complexion or darker, like, they was mean as hell to me. That is so crazy. And they say us black women mean as hell. But the dark-skinned men was mean as hell. Like, they just, like, they attitude about things was just weird. Like, we're not going to get deep about that right now. But, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, and that's not, I'm not saying, like, because he was light-skinned, he looks better, he looks good. No, the man looked good for his age, no lie. Like, well, you can say he was into his body, like, into his health, his fitness. Like, the man looked good. He wasn't big or buff, but you can tell he was, you can tell that he took care of himself. And during those times, I really cared about my weight and how I looked as well. Like, I really focused a lot on keeping myself up. Because I was the girl that grew up active in sports and had a nice body. So, I wanted to keep up my body. <laughs> I believe I got a little older, close to my 30s. I believe I got in my 30s and got lazy. Like, I was comfortable. I was just into my money and... Not gonna say I didn't care the way I looked, but... As far as me working out all the time, like, I had lost it a little bit. But anyway, your girl's getting back there. Anyway, so yeah, the date is going so well. Um, and so a week passes by, and at this time, my little co workers they're noticing that I've been talking more to Red. And so, of course, they tried to get out of my business. They was like, damn, ain't he a little older than you? I'm like, yeah, why? And then they was like, Damn, he should be dating us because these girls, these women, they were older than me. I think one of them was in her 40s and the other one was probably close to his age. And I was pretty close to the one that was close to his age. Like, we, we became really cool for a long time. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I always got along with people that were young. I, and to this day, I always seem to get closer to people that are older than me or people that are younger than me. The women my age, for some reason, like, we don't be as tight. Like, that shit is so weird to me. Like, I don't know. And I and maybe because a lot of times women be competing with you. I don't want to say that the girls that I was cool with my age. Like, I ain't going to say I've never been close with women my age. But a lot of the times, they do 
eventually turn to jealous bitches. Like, and I can honestly say that, that, and I'm saying that. So if any of you watching this video, oh, for well, I feel like a lot of y'all be jealous bitches because I've done things in my life and they have never been there to support me. Like, that, or they'll pretend or it'll be temporary support and things. Like, I, like I have this one homegirl who recently had a birthday. I actually thought, like, damn, you know, the day, the day had really got away. And I was like, you know what? Let me tell you some happy birthday. I've been on her a long time. I still like her, but we don't hang out. We don't really do anything. I'm still going to text her happy birthday. But, y'all, don't y'all know, I have been in my house for over seven or eight years. And this girl had yet to come to my house. She had not touched foot in my house. And I've been to her apartments and things that she done moved around in. Every time she moved somewhere, I, I, I've gone. You know what I'm saying? But And she be out in my way. She be out this way a lot. And she have yet to come to my house. I've had business and things going. Granted, she may not have needed my services. But I can't recall a time that she shared my posts. I'm sure she might have liked some things. But... Or, or, you know, shared it, told her friends or anybody about it. Like, I cannot. And so, honestly, that's another reason why I kind of got rid of my Facebook. Because I feel like it's too many people on that page that I know personally. And they never really supported me. They just dare to be nosy about the other things going on in my life. That has nothing to, be, has nothing to do with me, you know, advancing in life. But more so... Of the personal things I going on, I got going on, like as far as relationships and things like that. I feel like people love to see when you're going through a struggle, and they do not want to see you pass them in life. Like I really feel like that. Anyway, I know this is I'm getting on subject. I know this has nothing to do with this story time, but I just want to put it out there because that happens a lot, and I think I am gonna make a video about something like that. But anyway, so yeah, <laughs> everything is going good with us. These women, like, I'm not going to say they was being hater bitches, but I don't know. They was just, I guess, like, shocked that he was with me. And again, like I say, the man look good. Not saying I don't look good, but these women, I'm going to say, they real hippie, got big ass booties, and, you know, they're older, and they're of the fair skin complexion. And yes, a lot of women... Even to this day, I feel like because they have lighter skin, that they, they should be chosen first. Oh, so you want to be a pick me bitch all your life? Okay. How about a man actually show interest in you because he's into your intellect, not because of your looks? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I can say a lot of times women do be on it, but baby, another reason, another another thing is men can sense when a woman is insecure within herself. Like, they love a confident woman. I'm just saying. You don't come off that way. But anyway, I I didn't pay that shit no mind for like, I was like, well, shit, if he really wanted one of them, he can get one of them. But he, he didn't want them. And it, I don't think it's because I look young and impressionable. It's just that, shit, I probably was the better woman. Anyway, so fast forward. We have been dating for a little over two months. Yes, it has been going on this long. And no, at this time, my daddy wasn't really around in my life like that. So, it didn't really matter. And even if he was, who cares? Like, this is who I'm dating. And, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and my daddy was a little older than him, honestly. My dad, and actually, my daddy is a little older than this guy. Hmm. Yeah. My daddy was a little older than my mom. Anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> <Did I get it? laughs> so I don't know maybe I get it from my mama I don't know hmm. anyway so everything is going pretty good with us and then like I said he we did talk about having children his children were not quite my age they was a little younger than me like they still was like yeah they probably still like in maybe in middle school or something like that like his kids wasn't oh yeah he was my mom's age but he didn't have children my age like they was a little younger and 
No, the, 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 the girlfriend at the time. I, no, matter of fact, she was his ex-wife. Like, no, she, she wasn't, she wasn't younger. She was, she probably was more close to age than him, but she wasn't my age young. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, she just started getting to a point where she was calling him a whole lot. Like, she wasn't doing it at first. I actually had met her one day when she brought the kids around. Like, she was picking the kids up. I had came over, and we, like, ran into each other. And I'm sure if it was a problem, he would have, like, not had me come over at the time. So, yeah, like, we kind of, like, met each other in a lot. And, yeah, like, yeah, I think this day, like, yeah, I had met them once. I had met them a couple other times. Like, I was, I had came over when they was there. And so the mom knew that I come. Because, you know, kids don't tell their parents everything. And then I'm sure she asked him, and, yeah, he told her about me. And she didn't really say too much. She actually would speak, you know, when she see me. But she had got to a point where she started, like, really just calling him for every little bit of thing. She started complaining about the child support. Of course, you know, a broke bitch have to do that. And, I, and yeah, I know I can't really. I know somebody would be like, you know, you shouldn't say that. You don't have children. No. When you are a parent, whether you get money from the other parent or not, you should be in a position or have the mindset to be in a position to take care of your kids regardless. But when you just acting like that child support money is the only thing that's going to keep you afloat, and I know that ain't the only thing that's keeping you afloat, then you give broke bitch mentality. No, you should be warm enough to raise your kids regardless. But that was not the case. Like, that was not even the case. That man was paying this, but he still was giving extra money on top of that. Really there for his kids. I could honestly say he was there for his children, period. He did things for them that most men, even to this day, still don't do for their kids. And honestly, he didn't choose to, to live separate from them. You wanted them to stay with you. Because he really wanted his kids to stay with him. But you know how that go. Anyway, so yeah, and then they was boys. So they should have been with their dad. But anyway... So she just started really getting, she just started really being an annoying bitch. Like, and not even that, she started popping up at his house. I'm like, oh my God, here we go again with the crazy baby mama shit. Like, I'm like, I'm not, I did not sign up for this bullshit. Y'all need to keep y'all women together. Like, keep them motherfuckers away from me because one, I'm not a confrontational person. But if I got to fight a bitch, I most definitely will fight a bitch. But I was not trying to be on this type of time, girl. <laughs> no, hell no. I'm not here wasting my energy on no shit like that. So, eventually, he started, you know, he starts, you know, complaining to her about the shit. Like, hey, you need to keep that tight. Like, whatever we got going on is, is between us, you know. You only need to come over here. The only time you need to pop up at my house if it's some type of emergency with my kids and you cannot get in contact with me. Like, you don't need to pop up at my house. Because she literally, like, popped up in the middle of the night one night. No lie. It might have been probably about 10 or 11 o'clock at night. But she most definitely popped up over there. The kids weren't with her. But she's... Complaining, about, I can't remember what the fuck the conversation was about, but she most definitely was complaining about some bullshit. Like, and I do remember her saying one time, like, you didn't even try to make it work with us. You were just ready to get a divorce. Like, girl, baby, you should try to fight for your marriage a long time ago. Get, let it go. What the fuck? Mm mm. Hold up. So yeah, like she just kept doing annoying ass shit like that, and I'm like, man, you gotta take care of it. I don't want to be around. No shit like that. And so, fast forward. We're on, like, month three. And I tried my best to not be a crazy girlfriend or come off like I'm crazy or immature. We're going to say that. I tried my best not to come off like I'm immature about things with him. Because, again, we have this big-ass age gap. And I tried my damnness to just... <laughs> To be good and, and not be an insecure little bitch. Because, again, he was having these issues with his ex-wife. And, honestly, for her to be acting the way she was acting, they could have been hooking up. And a lot of times, men do be hooking back up with their baby mamas or ex-wives and all that. And that's exactly what he was doing. And how I found this out, like, I was out with some friends and I saw him and her. I saw them hugged up, y'all. I didn't go make a scene. Number one, I was too embarrassed. Like, I 
probably like boast to my friends like, oh, he's a good guy. You know how you kind of like brag, trying to make his shit seem a certain way. Which it kind of was because that's what he was showing me. And then I just didn't want to embarrass myself. Like I said, I was embarrassed about the situation that I seen him cheating on me with his, with his ex-wife. Like, I guess. I don't know. Like, for some reason, I, I don't know. I just, I didn't want them to know. So I said, you know what? I'm going to wait. So I, I hang from, I said, you know what? But that's okay, though, because I got his ass later. That's what I'm telling myself. So I text him, and I was like, um, hey, what you got going on today? He's like, oh, none, just chilling around the house with my kids. I said, this lying mother, he really is lying to me. But he don't know that I know he's lying to me. I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. He was like, but hey, 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 let me call you back a little later. You know, I, let me try to spend this little time with them. They mom about to come get them in a little bit. I'm like, okay, okay, all right, bet. <laughs> I knew in my mind that I was going to act a fool about this. Like, I had already said, man, he got me fucked. No, I'm going to let him know that I saw what happened today. So fast forward, like, it, like I said, this was like early in the day, probably around brunch time I was hanging out with my girls. It wasn't like us hanging out on the street late. This was around brunch time. And so later on that day, he hits me up like, what you got going on? You want to, you, you know, he's like, what you got going on? You still hanging with your girls? Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'm still hanging with them, whatever. I was like, why, what's up? He said, none, I'm just checking in on you. You, you hit me up early and I was with the kids and... Yeah, I just checking in on you, but I guess I'll see you later on in the week, huh? I said, yeah, you will see me later on in the week. But what he didn't know, <laughs> it's like, yeah, you'll see me later on in the week. So, y'all, not even an hour after I got off the phone with him, I'm headed out to his house. Y'all, when I got to that man's house, I see her car in the driveway. I'm like, oh, fuck, now you got me fucked up. And this is around probably 10 o'clock at night. Like, this, I don't know what's up with us coming over his house late at night at 10 o'clock at night. Like, it was just something about it because, no lie, y'all, she would pop up around that time. Like, every time that she pop up, it had to have been around 10, 10, 30, 11, somewhere around right there. And I know I most definitely had popped up around 10 something at his house. So I'm banging on the goddamn door. Banging on the damn door. And I'm I'm like, open up the motherfucker. Oh, you got me fucked. I do remember saying that. He like, huh? He like, so you can hear him like, what the fuck? And so he comes, he opens the door. He like, what you doing? I said, oh, so this is what we do now. I said, instead of you being a man and telling me that you want to get back with your ex-wife and fix things, you out here sneaking behind my back. I said, you couldn't even be real. So I said, you couldn't keep it 100 with me. You had to lie to me about that shit. I was like, and honestly, did you ever stop dealing with her? Because she really been popping up over her a lot lately, acting a damn fool. I'm like, I ain't crying. I said, I may be young, but I know when a woman is doing all that, she ain't doing that shit for no reason. Like, what's up? It ain't nothing like that. She really just here to talk about. She ain't here to talk about no damn kids no 10 o'clock at night. Where kids at? I thought you said you had your kids and she was going to come get them. Uh, uh, matter of fact, you said she came and got them earlier. Not mine. I was like, you know what? Say that bullshit. You ain't even got to worry about me coming back around her no more. Like, you ain't even got to worry about that. I said, you could have just kept it 100 with me. I said, then you put my life in danger. Because at this point, we kind of was like, you know. At this point, we were having, you know, relations. And I'm like, you messing with me. And then, you so you sleeping with me, and then you still sleeping with your ex-wife, or whoever she is. Or shit, did y'all even extra get a divorce? But they really did get a divorce, because she really, she, like, she made a big deal about that. Like, you, because she, she used to mention it a lot, like, you were so quick to divorce me just so you can be out here for young girls. Like, she would make that statement a whole lot. But anyway, so, yeah. I was like, you could have just been 100 with me. And you really put my life in danger, sleeping with me, and then you sleeping with your wife. And, girl, y'all just going the fuck off but i refuse to let a man see me cry because this is like you know and not saying that i would cry in situations because you really have to put me push me to a certain point for me to shed any type of tears for you but i feel like i was embarrassed 
and I feel like a fool because I'm like, I really was into this man. A lot of people knew that I was dating you. I even told my mom about you. I told, yeah, I even had told my parents about you. Like, I don't talk about people to my folks quick unless I know I fuck with you for real, for real. Like, I, I really don't. And it wasn't because he was older. I was scared to say anything, but because I eventually did tell them, you know, like, he's a little older than me. I didn't say exactly how old, but I was like, yeah, he's a little older. And, y'all, <laughs> I was just, like, embarrassed because I'm like, now I'm like a fool. And, yes, yeah, some of the neighbors did come outside. And, of course, I embarrassed myself more because, shit, they knew who I was. Like, he introduced me to a couple of his neighbors. But the fact that they probably knew that he was hooking up with me and his ex-wife, like, I'm sure we was in rotation. We hadn't been in the, the way this lady was acting, y'all, I know that he was still dealing with her. And he probably was feeding her all kinds of fuck eyes and shit and making her promises because why would she do all that? If y'all divorce, y'all divorce. And just some of the little shit she used to say, I'm like, man, hell no. Nah. He's still messing with this woman. like, And I don't know why I didn't see that in the beginning. Like, I kind of thought of it. I, I do recall a time where I was like, what if they get back together? What if they want to get back together? Like, oh, what if they, they, you know, I, I, I'm sure I thought of some shit like that. Because I wasn't that damn blind, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to, you know, come off like I'm being insecure and read the shit wrong. But, man, your intuition is usually always right. I was so right about that shit. All the little thoughts that I had every now and again, all those little thoughts I used to have every now and again were so true. Like, he was... Like, granted, in the first month or so, like, the first few weeks, almost a month, he probably wasn't messing with her, but we had been together for probably, what, th four months at this point, and I'm sure he was back messing with this lady, because she started, like I said, she's the, 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 her actions showed that he was back dealing with her, how she used to act, how she's out doing all that calling every time me and he would be at the house late night or intimate, like, it would just be times where... This bitch should be at home sleep with her kids. And she would be hitting us up about something. Or just texting him about any damn thing. And he trying to act like he, don't, he annoyed with her texting. Like he would try to act like he was so annoyed with her texting him. When really he probably wasn't. Like, I mean granted, he probably didn't want her to text when I'm there. Because he probably felt like I was going to question him. But I, like I said, I tried my best not to come off like um, insecure in their relationship with him. <laughs> Y'all, he, 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 ugh, that shit had me so damn hot. I don't even lie, that shit had me so heated. And then when we would be at work, the girls would be like, damn, y'all mad at each other? You know, women, they so messy, especially jealous ass women. They would be so messy, like, damn, what y'all got going on? I ain't seen your man up here, y'all mad at each other? It's like they was looking for me to talk about the niggas going on and that shit. I was like, no, nah, we straight, we straight. We just decided not to just be all up under each other work because I wasn't ready to tell them about that shit. And it ain't none of their fucking business. But we just trying to keep it professional at work. We don't want to be all up in each other face. You know how these people get around her. They gonna start thinking, you know, they gonna start complaining about us being too too much PDA and all that at work. Like I didn't want that issue. And I really didn't want that problem because I kinda did tell him to like scale back on popping up around me like that a lot because I really didn't like people in my business. I've always been like that. Even to this day, you only open to see so much of my life like i'm only open to show you so much of my life like seriously so um eventually they found out you know um i guess he told a couple of people and and guys just started back approaching me like i saw, i heard you and your man broke up what happened what happened like even the men was being messy up there like trying that's why i say to this day i do not date people on my child Granted, I have dated somebody since then from my job or whatever you want to call that. But we're going to talk about that another time. But even that person to this day make me not want to date nobody whatsoever from my job. Like, the only thing I missed, y'all, was me being able to drive that big ass red truck he had. He made me fall in love with them trucks. And he used to let me float them on E-Way. <laughs> He's let me drive that shit on the E-Way <laughs> a lot. I'm going to stop this right here. That is just about the time of me dating an older guy for the first time. Somebody that should have been dating my mom. But, y'all, my mom, she don't like red-ass men. Mm.
Mm -mm. My dog, he he wasn't her type at all. Yeah, he ain't never been her type. Anyway, we're going to stop this right here. I hope you all stay for the duration of the video. But before y'all leave, make sure y'all go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, let me know down in the comments if you've, you know, ever dated an older guy or been interested in dating an older guy or had issues with an ex-wife or ex-husband or whatever. Y'all, it is all greatly appreciated. And I'm hoping that you subscribe if you have not subscribed. I'm hoping that one day you will. Thank y'all so much for tuning in with me. I will never get enough of saying that. Anyway, y'all, I'll see you all in my next video.